All our children need is to feel safe and feel loved. If you just bring them on your lap, snuggle up close and enjoy a book together, your job as a parent is fulfilled. We have some amazing books that can help your child just ignite their love for um, creativity. This Draw Me a Storybook is very, very clever. This little girl, she begins reading about Little Red Riding Hood and other stories about Tom Thumb. And the characters in the books are telling her, hey, I don't want to be eaten by a wolf. And she changes the stories. And then she gets so excited, she keeps changing stories. And her love for art and creating just grows and grows and grows. It's such a beautiful story about your love for reading and also your love for wanting to create things on your own. I highly recommend Draw Me a Story. We have two new books in the Family Heroes series. One is Keeping Things Going and the other is Keeping Us Healthy, which is such a vital book for right now. You're gonna learn about all the jobs that our parents may do or loved ones may do. My daddy is a nurse, he's as caring as can be. He cheers up all his patients and then comes home to me. So, so many jobs are explored from pharmacy, to EMT, to flying helicopters. It's a wonderful book to share with your children. As well as keeping things going, all the people that help keep us safe from um, police officers to helpers and um, rangers in the park. A wonderful way to honor all of the occupations and jobs that our parents and our loved ones might be, but also to get our children excited about what they might wanna be someday. Um, Class Picture is a hilarious book, and it really is perfect for any child who might be a little bit scared about Class Picture Day, but these hilarious animals, none of them, none of these classes can get it right for Picture, for picture Day. They're monkeying around, they're in a blizzard, it's so hilarious. I Want to Dance is such a beautifully illustrated book. Um, there's this sweet little rabbit who sees a dance studio and he wants to join himself. And it is just so beautiful. If you have a dance lover or anyone who loves um, exploring and appreciating differences, you will love this book of acceptance and love. And these little rabbits are so, so cute as well. Another book about bears is so hilarious. This bear, he's a little bit fed up because all the books are about bears. And he is wondering why can't other animals be, be involved, like an anglerfish or a peacock or a worm. It's so hilarious and so sweet um, in this bear all account. We have a new book called The Perfect Shelter, which is a wonderful book for exploring sickness in your home. If you have a loved one, or in this case, this is this little girl's older sister, so a sibling who is very sick and she has to go to the hospital. But together, they've created a perfect shelter that helps them feel safe, and that perfect shelter is really at home in their hearts. So it's just a beautiful book about, um, and just sharing with a child, it's an uplifting and powerful story, just to um, talk about the complicated emotions that come when you find a loved one, uh, when you find out a loved one is sick. Lights Out Leonard is a wonderful book if your child might be hesitant to go to bed. Leonard is a very precocious child and there is a five-nosed, seven-tailed, eleven-handed, scaly whaley monster in his in the corner of his bedroom. So he just does not know what to do until he discovers a book called How to Frighten Monsters Himself. So it's a very fun, beautifully illustrated book. Highly recommend that one. Now, if your child needs help with sharing or learning about different needs and different wants between children, this is a fair shares. We got to hear Pippa Goodhart read this book, this beautifully illustrated book about um, a little hare and a bear, and then a little beetle makes an appearance about what they need to get these pears on the tree. It's very, very sweet, and that just all of us have different needs, and I really love all that you can learn from this little short tale. Senor Roscoe on vacation. We also have Monsieur Roscoe to learn French. This book teaches Spanish, learn Spanish with Senor Roscoe. He is going on vacation. You'll join him and his goldfish and you're gonna learn different phrases along the way. So you are reading English and just learning small phrases and small vocabulary. 
along the way and it's just a great way to learn new Spanish as he goes camping and skiing and sailing. It's a really fun book. We have my book, not yours. This is Sloss book, but unfortunately, as he's starting the book, he falls asleep and there is a rascal fox gets in the way and tries to take over his book. So you will find out what happens in this hilarious book um, about how a hero can truly take the lead in his own story. We all know Luna Loves Library Day and the same author just came out with Luna Loves Art. Um, this book is so beautiful because not only does it share some beautiful artwork, here's Vincent Van Gogh on the back, but it sh shares just a story of accepting and helping others as they might not feel that they fit in. And it's just a really, really sweet tale as we go to a trip to the art museum with Luna. Lastly, let's look at Superhero Baby. Hold on to your diapers. This rhyming book is very fun. As back home in the playroom, a mighty battle's raging, but even superheroes need their diapers changing. Really fun, rhythmic text, and you're gonna see how these superhero babies <laughs> help the town, or do they hinder it? It's really, really sweet, and these fun illustrations. Um, can get any child excited about reading with these. I hope you enjoy reading together.